Stanford University is again being accused of attempting to censor conservative voices on campus. One America's Bobby Dupree has more on one student group and their current battle with the school. Stanford University continues to come under fire for an alleged effort to silence conservative voices. The school's college Republican says the university violated the student government's constitution when it was denied funding to host filmmaker Dinesh D'Souza. The group originally asked for just $6,000, but the student government has denied its request multiple times. So far, it's only been approved $16.50. Not only that, school officials are demanding college Republicans pay $19,000 in security fees. A private donor has come forward who's willing to pay the group security fee, but they've been hit with another obstacle. Now Stanford claims at least 50% of event costs must come from on-campus sources. Because I say to myself, I realize I'm actually running against a point of view that has been drummed into you and into a lot of Americans for a long time by a lot of people. And I have to raise the question of how is it that you, smart guys at a smart university, how do you get to know things that are actually false. This all comes as students express concerns about the student government's current director of academic freedom, a position critics claim was created to advocate against conservatives. When commenting on D'Souza coming to campus, the current director suggested the college Republicans were looking to provide a platform for hate and discrimination. They are now asking for an apology from that director for his, quote, libelous and defamatory characterization of Dinesh D'Souza. And for liberal students that might have a conservative view on a matter are getting silent. And how do we put that in the context of free speech, or does it happen? Well, I think it certainly happens. I think very few, at least very few uh, conservative students on campus would have, would have the slightest doubt uh, about it. As universities, we actually do, we intervene in this process. So, but we intervene selectively. Stanford's College Republicans has faced rejection from the school numerous times in the past. Last year, the group was denied its request for a new t-shirt logo, which showed a portion of the American flag. The school's copyright office said it didn't meet its standards, claiming Stanford doesn't approve of its trademark being featured with the American flag. And it's also not the first time the school's had a problem with the flag, suggesting the Sigma Chi fraternity take theirs down. The chapter is currently inactive, but members were looking to improve. Students say one school official suggested the House take down its American flag in order to fix its image on campus. They say it could be seen as, quote, intimidating, aggressive, or alienating. The fraternity did take the flag down, but instead of giving in, they replaced it with an even bigger one. The original is now framed inside the fraternity house as a symbol of their protest. Bobby Dupree, One America News. Want to see more videos like this? Click on the link below and subscribe to One America News on YouTube. And call your cable provider and kindly demand that One America News is added to your lineup. Call and subscribe today.